Have you taken some of your own or purchased some additional sky images, but you can't figure out how to add them into Luminar Neo? Or perhaps you have so many sky images that you need a way to organize them into useful categories. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and in this video, you'll learn how to do both. You'll see step-by-step -step instructions on how to get your custom skies organized into categories and into Luminar Neo so that you can apply them to your images. And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you some bonus tips on creating your own skies and a link to download four skies from one of my sky packs for free. So if you're ready to start organizing your skies, let's dig in. first thing you need to do is get some skies. If you don't already have some of your own, I have some available on my website. Just go to the store tab in the top and sky replacements. Remember, stick around and I'll show you how to get some for free. If you already have your own, that's fine as well. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use the set of images from my two sky packs. So if you have purchased or gotten your own sky packs, Let's go from the point of download. Here's my download folder, and you can see that I have got two zip files, one from each of my sky packs. Anytime you have a file like this that is zipped, that means it is compressed, so you need to uncompress or open it before you can use it. To do that, just double click. I'm on a Mac. If you're on Windows, the operation may be slightly different. You may have to right click and choose unzip, or unpack. Either way, you want the result to look like this. You have a folder now, and inside the folder, you can see the images. Let me just unzip the other one. Once you have opened the zip files, you don't need them anymore, so you can put them into your system trash. I will just delete them, like so. Once you have your skies ready to go, in this case, two folders of images, you need to add them to Luminar Neo. So let's hop over there. I've already got an image ready to do a sky replacement on. I've done some basic edits and you can see that the sky is fairly boring. So I want to add something a little more dramatic. Open the sky AI tool and then pull down the menu for sky selection. Once you do that, you'll notice that there's another pull down menu at the top here. When you click here, you'll see a few different categories. These are the skies that come pre-installed to Luminar Neo, ready for you to use. So you can just select one, and then you'll see the thumbnail previews for that set of images. Now let's add our custom skies in. Pull the menu down once more, and at the very bottom, you'll see Show Custom Skies. When you click this, you'll be taken to the folder where the custom skies live, like so. This is where you need to put the new sky images. But if you just put them in without any categories or subfolders, I have some examples to show you what that looks like. I have a bunch of skies here that are just sort of random. So I'm going to copy them like so and just paste them into this custom folder. There they are. Now let's go back to Luminar Neo. This time, when I pull the menu down, you'll see there's a new category that says Custom. And there are all the thumbnails for the custom skies. You can also click the plus to add additional skies here. However, you'll notice there's no categories. So if you have hundreds and hundreds of skies, it becomes nearly impossible to find the one you're looking for. So what I recommend is to sort them or keep them in subfolders. Let's go back to the two folders in my downloads. Here they are in downloads, and I just wanna make sure that this custom folder is still visible. So watch what happens when I drag the two folders inside this custom area. Now it's moved or copied my sky packs into custom. Now, when I come back to this menu, you'll notice custom is still there, but so are the other two packs. And when I select it, you see the images just in that subfolder. So if you want to further categorize, we could do that with the ones that are in the custom folder. Let's go back. These are all the random ones that I just pasted in. These belong to a Luminar Sky Pack. So let's make a new folder 
and call it California skies. Like that. Let's do the same with these. And finally, all the rest. Now you can see that inside the custom folder, I've organized everything into five subfolders. And likewise, when we go back to Luminar, you'll see them there as well. This time, you'll notice there is no custom option at the top because now it is reading the subfolder names and just displaying the ones in those folders, like so. Now your sky packs are available for use and applying to your image. Et voila, there's the finished product. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Make sure you don't miss any of my new videos. If you found this tutorial helpful, it would help us if you shared it on your social media. Let your photography friends know about our channel and it will help them as well. Okay, remember I said I would give you a couple of bonus tips for creating your own skies? Here they are. Tip number one, when you're photographing any sky, try to get the horizon as close to the bottom of the frame as possible or just take a photo of the sky. Sometimes you come back with an image like this that has a little bit of the foreground or landscape at the bottom of the image. To make a good sky replacement, all you have to do is crop it out. You could also attempt to use the AI tools in Luminar Neo to get rid of the trees at the bottom. But for me, the simple answer is to just crop a little bit. Let's try something like this. Tip number two is to keep the image a little bit on the lighter side, but make sure it's not clipping the highlights. So ensure that you have the histogram visible and turn on the clipping warnings using the keyboard shortcut. If you'd like to download our free Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts cheat sheet, there's a link for you in the description area below. I like to keep the skies that I make a little bit on the lighter side and lower contrast. That gives you more options when you're putting them into another image later. You can always add contrast and make them more dramatic, but it's harder to remove it. So keep your skies a little on the lighter side. And tip number three, just export your new image as a JPEG, high resolution, and it's ready to use as a sky replacement in another image. As promised, here's how to get the four pack of free skies. This is what you'll get. I've already copied the pack and you know what to do with it. Just copy the folder and paste it into the custom skies area and it will show up in Luminar Neo. Here's the pull down menu and there's the four pack. These are the four that you will get, including the one that I used on this example image. To download them, you can just click in the upper right corner now, or there's a link in the description area for you. The images come from my full sky packs, which are available on our DPM store. Pack number two includes night images and Aurora. So if you'd love to add some Aurora Borealis to your images and create some stunning night photos, try our DPM sky pack number two. Or if you'd like to get them all, just buy the bundle. For $49, you get 50 skies. That's less than a dollar a piece. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to watch another video here on YouTube, click one on the screen now. Until next time, have fun with your sky replacements. Take care.